Okay, this evening, what we'd like to go over is naming chemical compounds. So this is in, I believe, chapter 5 of your textbook on uh, naming chemical compounds. And I've shared through the blackboard um, this handout that's titled Naming Chemical Compounds and has some guidelines for the various types or groups of compounds. So I'd like to show you some examples. Okay. So let's start with uh, type 1 binary. Type 1 binary compounds are those compounds that are made using a metal, which remember are typically cations. Those are positively charged ions. So a metal bonded with a non-metal. Okay. And non-metals are anons, ions with a negative charge. Okay. So a type 1 binary, we're looking for a metal element with a non-metal element, a cation with an ion, and the key to this is that the metal, its ion, its cation, has only one charge all of the time, okay? All of the time. So there, it is not a transitional metal. It is not one of those metals that has cations of various charges, okay? So here's an example. Let's say we have the formula NaCl. We're all familiar with table salt, but why is it called sodium chloride? Okay. So when we are naming these compounds that are made with a metal and a nonmetal formation from two anon or two ions, cation and anion, we take the metal's name, the element's name, sodium. We don't change it. We don't add any prefixes or suffixes. We leave it as is, sodium. And then we take the nonmetal involved here chlorine and we alter the last uh, syllable of its name we change in to ide to the ide ending so we call this compound sodium chloride the chlorine becomes chloride we change the I-N-E, the last syllable, to I-D-E, sodium chloride, okay? Let's try another one. Let's say we have B-A for burial, and we have nitrogen. So here is its formula, B-A-3-N-2, okay? The metal's name barium the anon's name it comes from the element nitrogen we change the last syllable nitrogen becomes nitride we add the i d e so we have barium I tried. Notice that we do not add any prefixes such as di or tri or tetra. There are no numerical prefixes added to these type 1 binary compounds that are made of a metal and a non-metal, a cation with only one particular charge all of the time, and an anon. Okay. There are no numerical prefixes added to this, like we would see with carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide. Okay. Now, let's try to go from the formula back, or from the name back to the formula. Let's try some of those. So, let's say we have the name lithium oxide. This is the name of our compound, 
and we want to take the name and we want to create the formula that corresponds to this. Okay? The first thing we want to do is identify the two elements involved. Lithium, which is Li, and oxide is coming from oxygen. So there are two elements involved, Li and O, but now these are ions that are coming together. And when ions, the positive cation and the negative anion, when those come together, their charges must balance out so that the compound has a net charge of zero. So how do we determine the formula? We go and we get the charges of each one of these ions. The lithium ion has a plus one charge. The oxide ion has a negative two charge. So we have a plus one and a minus two. Now, these two ions are going to come together in a specific ratio so that together there's a net charge of zero, that it will be charge neutral. So the easy way of determining that ratio is taking the charges and crossing them over so that we get the appropriate ratio. So we need lithium, we need two of those and one of the oxide ions. See how we crossed the two over, the one over? Because that would tell us that if we have two lithium ions, plus one and plus one, it's the representative charge of each ion there, and the single oxide with a negative two, we know then that one plus one minus two is equal to zero, charge neutral, okay. charge neutral. Okay. Let's try another one. Let's say we have the compound aluminum fluoride. Okay. Aluminum fluoride. First thing, identify the two elements, aluminum and fluorine. Those are the two elements involved in our compound. Now, let's get their representative ion charge. Aluminum is the metal. It's a cation with a plus.